If you guys don't know, my theme with clothing is comfortability. And yes, Moomoo's makes you feel like you're wearing nothing, especially on a hot day when your choo chaws are sweaty, this is sweaty, you got under boob sweat, which is something that I don't have anymore because my tits shrank. <sighs> something they don't talk about after having a baby. It's like, your boobs, what's going on there? Why? Why is it like that? There's nothing, it's just like that. It's a little sad slope. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Hella Jam. Today I am going to show you everything that I recently got at the thrift store. Before we get started, if you guys are new here, welcome to Hella Jam. My name is Jamie and I do a ton of thrift hauls, a ton of lifestyle videos, vlogging my life as a new mom, as a very goofy little happy married couple. <laughs> I feel like over time I'm getting more and more comfortable with uh, opening my heart to you guys and talking about really touchy subjects that do mean a lot to me that I think that by being vulnerable with you guys I can also possibly empower or help somebody who's also going through something that I'm going through too like postpartum depression, anxiety, the struggle of being a new mom, whatever it may be. So if you want to see thrift hauls, if you want to see interior decor things, if you want to be part of a family where you're going to be loved for exactly who you are, then go on ahead and subscribe. I'd love for you to join the Hella Jam family. Now that that whole shit show of a ramble is done, shall we get started? I got this little yellow top. Um, I was specifically looking for something with a square collar because I noticed that that is definitely making it come back right now. Um, but you guys know I'm going to cut this into a crop top. But not like a high, high crop top. Maybe a high crop top if I actually work out. But more of a I'm still a mom crop top. Really, really pumped about this guy. I especially love the high collar right here and also the ruching and the pattern. This is super fun and I think it's kind of futuristic. I also got this fun little lace up, literally lace, not like cute floral lace, tied up lace beater. Um, this is gonna be perfect for summer and to wear with something whenever I'm looking for like a more urban comfortable look This is gonna be my go-to Crop top bodysuit replacement. I also got this really really awesome Tad thin sparkly top. I was gonna make it into a crop top But I actually really like the slit detail right here. That is that when you guys ask me How do you know what to do? look for when thrifting. I feel like personally, I don't know what I'm looking for. I say this all the time. I'm looking for textures and patterns that stand out to me. So yeah, you could always get a black tank top anywhere. But what I love about this is the little silver sparkle detail that is going to stand out you know, if you decide to wear like an all black on black look. It's one thing to wear just like black slacks and like a black scoop neck jersey shirt. But it's another thing to like play with textures. Like if you wanna wear, I don't know, like uh, black cords with this black sparkly top with a black ruched duster. Like there's so many different textures there that it's gonna, going to kind of like bring your attention to that entire look rather than um, the basic black outfit if you know what I mean. Whenever I shop I do try to find something when I'm looking for basics I'm looking for something that I can wear multiple times with different outfits like this basic tank top but it does have the sparkle detail to stand out to still be a staple item where people are gonna be like wow that's a cute top. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Cool. I am gonna do a how to style 101 video another time. I feel like it's very hard for me to put my thoughts and to lay it out and compartmentalize because personally like I don't know what I'm doing. I guess it's like the creative in me. I just go with the flow with whatever speaks to me. Anyways, I was really looking for a 
poofy sleeve top, like a vintage top. I didn't find what I was looking for, but I did find this amazing orange poofy 80s dress. I especially love the detail here. It's linen. So this is what I'm talking about texture. Anytime there's linen and it's breathable and it's light, count me in. I was going to say count me on it or like sign me up. That's what I was trying to say. Sign me up. I also love the fact that it cinches right at the waist. You can wear a cute little belt with it and it also has like this layered detail right here. So cute. Patterns. So like I said, patterns. I found this really cute dress from Talbots. It's a size four. I especially love the detail of the different polka dots. You got smaller polka dots, bigger polka dots. You got the ruffle sleeve and you have the cute little bow detail right here. And then you also have it right here. So this, I feel like it's a cute little shift dress. It's not like a basic shift dress. This is a dress that you can have and keep forever. You can also cinch it at the waist if you want to. You can have it as like a boxy dress and wear it with combat boots. Done. Like instant urban sex appeal. Like I really, really, really like this. You can wear this to church. You can wear this to work. You can dress it down with a jean jacket. Um, you can even wear like a bulky sweater over it and that way it's kind of like a skirt with some like high leather boots. Ooh, who she thinks she is. Next up, I really wanted to find floral is in right now. I hate talking about trends because I feel like trends are constantly repeating itself and I'm not a trend hunter, but I am inspired by the trends. When I see something on the runway or something that somebody is wearing, I look at it, I admire it, and I think about how can I make something like that mine? Like how can I play off of that trend to make it my style? So for instance, the whole like milk made dress is in right now. I will leave a picture right here. I was trying to find like a milk made dress and I couldn't. I also have a ton of my own from my mom that she kept. Um, but I did want to thrift more for me to wear in the summer because, like I said, when it's hot, I don't want to wear anything. Just throw a dress on and it's just an easy outfit. The easiest way to look put together is to put a dress on. I didn't find one, but I did find this really awesome dress. It's a floral button down. The button's down all the way from the top to the bottom. It's a maxi dress. Um, it is a breathable dress. It also has a nice little collar detail up here. And what I like most about it is like with these oversized dresses, like you can wear, I can wear this now as like an oversized look or I can wear it when I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant. Not right now. Guys, do not rush me. I cannot be pregnant right now. I'm still trying to get my mental head in, in check. Although to make another soul would be so cute. I feel like you can also wear this as a duster. You could wear it open with some jeans and a crop top or jeans and a tucked in tee or a graphic tee. Um, you can wear it with like a black dress and like have this be your like statement trench type of action. Whenever I shop, I think about how many times can I wear this outfit? Like how many times can I recreate this outfit? Whether it's like, Wearing this as a dress with a belt, wearing this open with jeans, wearing this open with, you know, whatever it may be, like as a, uh, like on top of a sweater or wearing this with like a sweater on top of it and it just being like a maxi skirt situation. I try to think of as many ways that I can wear it, even though it was only $12. <laughs> Which is kind of expensive at a thrift shop. But I also feel like if I don't like this, I can also gift it to like to a friend, so. So that's that. If you don't know, I recently had a closet sale and I sold like all of my most sentimental momos. Why? It's because I binge watched Marie Kondo and I was like, I need to pass it on to someone else. I don't need it. I find momos all the time. It's going to be easy for me to find a new one. And to be honest, it was not easy. It was very hard and kind of hit me in the gut like Game of Thrones, like Arya on the... Not gonna say it in case you haven't seen Game of Thrones, but you know what I'm talking about if you have. But I did find one, and this is it. 
a little snake skin moo moo. So it's not as vibrant as all my other ones, but what I do love about this is it's just a nice little neutral. The snake skin, just give it a, there's something about animal print that is just so like sexy, like rawr. Like I'm in animal print, I'm gonna be a badass bitch in animal print. If you guys don't know, my theme with clothing is comfortability and yes, Moomoo's makes you feel like you're wearing nothing, especially on a hot day when your choo chaws are sweaty, this is sweaty, you got under boob sweat, which is something that I don't have anymore because my tits shrank. <sighs> something they don't talk about after having a baby. It's like, your boobs, what's going on there? Like, why? Why, why is it like that? There's nothing, it's just like that. It's a little sad slope. Anyways, yeah, I got a moo-moo. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Go on ahead and leave a comment with your favorite pieces, how you would style things differently, what you guys do when you're thrifting, like what makes you decide to purchase that piece. Uh, like what's your thinking process? I would love to learn from you guys and hear from you. And once again, build this community of positivity. All right. Take care, guys. Love you. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.